Hi, this is Dorit. Welcome back. Well, we're going to talk about something really serious today. It's the subject, the danger of pornography for men and the danger of watching love dramas for women. Well, I grew up in Denmark and you could get pornographic magazines in any in and out store. And they were openly displayed for all ages to see, and they still are. The so-called liberated free sex culture basically is hell on earth. My cousins had these magazines, but I felt something is wrong. When the young boys and dads looked at it, it was very stimulating for them because they are stimuli stimulated uh, visually. Dr. Douglas Weiss, who counsels men who have problems with sexual intimacy with their wives, explains that during sex, chemicals called endorphins and enkalins rush to the excitement center, preoptic neuron of a man's brain. The preoptic neuron is a section of the brain where excitement and risks are experienced. Men who take risks, such as skydiving, bungee jumping, or deep sea diving, use, utilize the same part of the brain as sex does. However, sex is by far produces the greatest chemical release, making his brain and body feel their absolute best. Critical to a man's sexual success is understanding that whatever he looks at, while having an ejaculation, is what he will sexually connect or glue to. Whatever his eyes focus on when he sexually releases, a person, images or objects will become etched in his brain as a photographic attachment toward that person, image or object. I call it sex glue. Consistent viewing of anything or anyone during a sexual experience creates a sexual desire for that object or person. Sadly, many men have badly trained their brain hundreds, hundreds of thousands of times by being sexual with themselves before their first legitimate sexual relationship with their wife. They should imprint their wife on their brain. That would be natural and beautiful. So a lot of masturbation and watching pornography makes it very hard when you get married and have sex with your wife. Those models are painted. No woman look like, like them. And this time it's of an age, it's very difficult because you can see porn pornography any place, especially on a computer, sometimes just a pop-up. So there's four levels of pornographic addiction. Uh, this is according to the relationship intelligence curriculum. The first addiction, young boys' body grow and they get naturally curious about sex. So as parents, we need to talk about sexual development at home with our boys and with our girls. And these boys, they start watching maybe first movies and ads with naked ladies. They see pop-ups on their computer of pornography and they get curious and it's exciting and pleasing. And he starts masturbating and the pictures get glued to his brain and he wants more. That's the first level. Then the second level, desensitization. Citation. What was once shocking or revolting becomes commonplace and ordinary. The object of desire is not seen as a real person, but as an object. So viewing rape, child abuse, and sexual perversion become non-shocking. The third level, escalation, is like taking a drug. You need more and more, wanting more hardcore porn more extreme and more graphic to get the same high. Four, acting out, child abuse, wife ab abuse. And following all of this is also the emotional roller coaster of temporary relief, then shame, then inadequacy and isolation. If you have a pornographic addiction, please se seek help and counseling. Even on the websites, there's like antipornography.org, it's, it's one website. Another one is called heartsupport.com, where you can get help. You can also go to YouTube and learn, it's called Truth About Porn. There's many people talking about the dangers of pornography. Find yourself a mentor you can share and confess to, 
and who can be who you can be accountable to and who could who can check up on you like in Matthew 5:27 uh, Jesus says you have heard that it was said to those of old you shall not commit adultery but I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart in Matthew 33 for seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. So remember, God is a God of love and forgiveness. He is always ready to give you a new start. So make a new start in your life with God, with Jesus. Confess, be accountable to somebody. But for women, love dramas is really uh, dangerous. They're like pornography for men. I know when I was growing up, my mom and I, we both watched love dramas. It's so addicting. Uh, you put it in the place of actually even God, following God, it becomes like an idol. And when women, women watch the romantic dramas, she get emotional highs and lows unnaturally. The hormone oxytocin even comes, comes into her body. It releases and, and she feels connected, it attached her, and she compares her husband with those movie stars. Sometimes she even dreams and fantasizes about having sex with the movie stars instead of her faithful husband. Um, romance. The guy is so loving, caring, handsome, serving, helpful, understanding. He tells us how beautiful he is, how wonderful he is, such sweet talking gives her presence, takes her in her, his fancy car, takes her on vacation. No man in real life is like these movie stars. Men are not romantic, but they are willing to work hard and even die for their wives. That's true men. We'll share more about that later, how a woman needs love and a man needs respect. Women need to talk, to share, to solve what's going on in, in her life, could get emotional release. So be wise, men. Listen to your wives. Women, be wise. Stay away from these Hollywood love dramas. Instead, read the Bible and respect your husband. Next week, I want to address another serious to topic, abortion. Have a great day. Let us make a new start. It's springtime. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bye-bye.